2013, the university was awarded a Gandhi Global Medal by the Gandhi Global Foundation, and I was very fortunate to receive the Gandhi Siva Medal for the Square Mile. We have a very strong connection now with the Gandhi Global Foundation. There's a thing called the Gandhi Ashram, and I was asked to go and make a presentation at the Gandhi Ashram to somebody else who'd have been uh, awarded the Gandhi Siva Medal. And as I turned up, the entrance of the ashram there was this little sort of, which I've subsequently discovered is a hostel for children, but I didn't know what it was at the time. And I could hear all this noise, and, you know, because I'm quite curious, I wanted to go and see what was going on. Several people said to me, you can't really go there, which of course awakened my interest. And they said, this is where the untouchables are. And I was amazed. I mean, I, I was a bit naive really. I didn't think we still used that term, or that term was still used. And they, they said it went, oh no, no, not the untouchables, they're the um, street scavengers. And then they said they're the Dalits, and I've subsequently learned that that's the term for the lowest caste. There are 27 castes in India, uh, a population of 1.2 billion. And the lowest caste, the Dalits, have a population of 40 million, of which a million of those do the most unfathomable jobs. Anyway, we went into this hostel and it's, it was clear immediately that it's an amazing place. The hostel itself is next door to um, a huge slum called Ramapir Notekro. It houses 160,000 people and it has the same square footage as our square mile in Leicester. It has 7,000 residents, so you can imagine how claustrophobic it is, how straightened the circumstances are in which people live. What this hostel does is the very, very poorest families can bring their children to the hostel and if they can convince the hostel that the needs of their children are sufficiently significant, then they can get taken into the hostel where they're given a basic education, uh, health care and, and food. And I felt that this was a, a project which was really aligned to the values of our square mile. We've been thinking for a long time, in fact, ever since the square mile was created in 2011, about the possibility of having an international square mile. And once I found this place, it all come, kind of came together. Leicester has a population of 360,000 people, of which 120,000 have Indian heritage, and the vast majority of those have links to Gujarat. Secondly, we have our office in Ahmedabad. Thirdly, we've got DME Global and we're looking for a destination whereby we can send literally hundreds of students to have a tremendous experience in terms of personal development but also in terms of their employability skills. And it just seemed to me that this was a hostel that we could make a real difference to, you know, in, in partnership working. Because the key point I want to make is that creating DME Square Mile in India, it's like the British one, you have to have the consent of the people that you're working with. You can't have a situation where you go in, tell people how terrible their life is, and go about doing do-gooding things. But we also are very conscious of the fact that um, you can't start to work with a hostel full of very young children from the age of 6 to 14. Do it for six months and disappear, so you might feel good. I mean, that would be worse than not starting at all. And since then, we've been working with the hostel authorities to see if we can create um, a scheme which we're now calling DMU Square Mile India, based around the hostel, but leading on to a whole number of other projects as well. We're now going to sponsor the first child, Arian. Um, he's 10 years old. He looks, I don't know, I thought he was five, five or six, he's so malnourished, but he's so buoyant and so enthusiastic and optimistic as children at that age are. I've, I've met his father, and as with most parents, he, he wants to invest everything in his children's education. So for him, it's the focus on education, it's the ability to learn English. I, I've been changed dramatically by my engagement um, with the hostel already. Um, to go to a, a completely different environment and feel that you're giving something back, I think is one of the most wonderful things that you can do. We're combining the best of DME Global with the best of the square mile. And I just want all of our staff and our students to have the opportunity, if they want to take it up, to appreciate what I've appreciated recently.